Hey everybody! I'm kind of on a roll today, huh? Some days are better than others. Like today, it's raining. Can't go fishing. So, anyway, I had something I want to talk about really quick too. Um, sublingual medication and dentures. Medication is no fun, but I've been taking a medication sublingually for four, uh, actually six years, and I take it four times a day. So what's going on with this is that my dentures are getting in the way. If you take a medication sublingually, you'll know what I'm talking about because you put it under your tongue and then you put your tongue down and you let it absorb through your bloodstream. Well, my dentures is in the way to the bottom of my mouth. So when I put my medicine in, I put my tongue down it gets stuck to the denture and it doesn't do what it's supposed to do in there. So the absorption rate is wrong and I'm having dosing issues because of it. So I had to learn to adjust how I do that. So now what I do is I just take my bottom denture out and I leave it out while I'm doing my medication. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes for it to fully absorb, but it's the best method because you don't want to screw up the dosing or the absorption rate. That's the, you know, that's the really big thing with that type of medication. It needs to go under your tongue and you need to be able to absorb it properly into the bloodstream. So I was noticing that my body was kind of off because of this medication and it not absorbing properly. So just, just, that's just a quick little note. If you do take medication sublingually like that, no matter what it is, just remember that you could have dosing issues and just keep it in the back of your brain that you might have to take your lower denture out just to get that medication to do its job properly. You don't want to mess with the dosing of any type of medication. Um, for me, if it starts sticking to my denture and I swallow it, well, it's not effective. It needs to go into the bloodstream, not through the stomach. Uh, so it's not, it's not good. With my Russell Klein's, it wasn't that big of an issue because they didn't go all the way underneath my tongue. These ones go like all the way under. It's like they're trying to connect sides. It's crazy. But um, it's really best if I take the denture out. So for you guys, just saying, that's another little challenge that I never expected. I never really expected that it was going to have an effect on the medication that I take. So... There's just a little heads up for you, a 411 on it, that it is something that you might have to think about and address, but it's really easy. Just take your bottom denture out and then you won't have any issues with it or uh, dosing problems or anything. So I just want to say I really, really appreciate all of you. Anyone who's watching this video, who's left a comment, who's subscribed, whatever it is, I'm not in it for subscribers and things like that. I don't make money off of my YouTube, but I really do make friends and I really, really value that. So thank you all for just for viewing, for interacting with me, whether it be here or Facebook or Twitter, or whatever it is. I really appreciate it. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you. It's really helped me through my journey a lot. So being able to share with everyone, rather be encouraging to someone or inspiring to someone, whatever it is, just sharing that connection with somebody is really important. So I really appreciate everything that everybody does, even my anti-supporters. I love you guys too, even though you think I don't. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys all have an excellent day and I hope this helps somebody out who, uh, who takes medication like I do and might end up needing dentures or already have them. So... Take those bottom dentures out and do yourself a favor. Love you guys.